Batching is a word everyone loves to use, but no one seems to love to follow through with. I'm Anu Srivastava, and I'm here to explain batching in the Google Docs API. At its core, batching is a way to arrange things into groups. So when programming, the idea is to group similar tasks together so that we only have to process any overhead once. Now, when you use the Docs API, you're going to want to batch your request for two main reasons. So the first one, going back and forth with the Google servers to execute updates to your document will actually slow your application down. Second, Google APIs are bound by quota restrictions. So batching requests means that you're going to use less quota. This is definitely a win-win. So now we all agree that we should definitely group our requests. The Docs API wants to help you. So it offers a special method called batch update. A batch update is one or more updates to a document. Think of it as a container for your write request you'd like to make for your document on the server. Let's see an example of a batch update. Let's pretend that we're making a document for gathering developer feedback and we want to make three new writes. First, we want to add our latest developer feedback quote with an insert text request. Second, we want to add our screenshot with an insert inline image request. And third, we want to update the submitted date. This is actually a replace all text request. Each of these actions is a type of update, so to make these three updates, we could make separate requests, or if we group them into a single batch update request, it counts as one write. So note that you don't have to use the same type of request in a batch update. We place all three of our different requests into a single batch update container. This is a small win for this one doc, but when you consider the scale and scope of a large company, batch updates can really improve latency and consolidate your write calls. At the end of the day, batching your requests will really improve your overall performance. So try it out for yourself, check out the documentation and get started. And as always, let me know what you think. Happy batching!